A quick catch up of Murphy's most recent home games now, as the Martyrs took on Yeatown in the Red and Shua Cup. The visitors held Newport County to a draw in the FA Cup recently, so this was not going to be an easy task. There were several changes to the start in 11 with a run of league fixtures coming up, but Yay Town took the lead after some shaky defending. The Martyrs were creating chances but were unable to find the finishing touch. Former Taft's Welsh striker Adnan Haroli sailed a victory for Yate who progressed to the next round. With the Southern League back in focus, it was Abingdon United who came to Perndaren Park for the first home league fixture since September the 1st. It started well with Ian Trailer's pass, finding Ryan Prosser who flicked it in easily. Manager Gary Shepard put his boots back on after Joe Lee he left the club and new signing Garen Queen was injured. On this occasion it was Trailer coming close. This clearance from Giles Cutland was almost Abingdon's equaliser after it was charged down. Ryan Newman wasn't far off with his effort, which was helped over the bar. Gary Shepard hasn't played since April last season, so we will let him off for possibly being a little bit rusty. The visitors kept creating chances, and soon enough a fantastic strike from Samuel Tucker put the game level. In the second half, Marcus Griffiths came on and put the Martyrs back in front with this powerful strike. Cutland was called into action moments later. There were chances at either end, cross his head and not being able to beat Abingdon's keeper. The visitors were piling on the pressure, but were unable to find the killer touch. Super sub Marcus Griffiths extended Murphy's lead after he lobbed the keeper to make it 3-1. Abingdon did pull one back three minutes from the end, but the Martyrs did enough to hold on to the three points. The following Tuesday welcomed Porton Rovers to Murphy. Ryan Prosser was keen to put the Martyrs ahead early on. <laughs> Fifteen minutes in and JB Rubery's header was brilliantly saved by Polton's keeper. In the second half there was a strong claim for handball which was ignored by the officials. But the Martyrs could not find the target. Gary Shepard's flick into the box was met by Prosser, who was inches away from the post. With just a couple of minutes left, some sloppy defending from a set piece gifted Polton Rovers the lead and the three points. 
A disappointing performance, although a 5-1 away victory to Wimborne in the FA Trophy last Saturday will put them in confident mood against Tiverton on Tuesday night. Make sure you're up at Penadaran Park to support the Martyrs.